Hey, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Susan, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys the top books I want to read this fall. So this is kind of like my seasonal TBR, kind of not, because I don't really like making like physical TBRs. I kind of, am, I'm very much a mood reader, and I tend to just pick up like what I gravitate towards. So yeah, that's really all there is. I actually have about 11 books to talk about today. I think it's 11. I meant to try to limit this list to 10, but I think there was something I tossed in there like after the fact that I thought of, but eh, whatever. It's just a list and I really hope to get to these books that I have here. And if there's any other books you can think of related to these or any of these that you think I should pick up first, just let me know in the comments down below. So the first book I have to talk about today is one that was actually apparently really beloved here on booktube before I even heard of booktube and that is The Selection by Kiera Cass. I have actually started this book once and I don't know much about this series other than the pretty dresses and I think it has to do with pageantry. I don't know much about it at all but I do know that it was really well beloved and that a lot of people have read read it and really enjoyed it. So I am hoping to pick it up soon this fall as I do own the selection or I think it's the Elite, the second book as well. And I do know my friend Larissa was gifted the series last Christmas, like the first five books in like a box set. And uh, I know she wants to get to it as well. So maybe I can offer her another opinion if I can get to it first or we can buddy read it. Book number two on our list today is actually one that I have picked up thanks to the fact that Emma Books did talk about it so much. And that is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I bought this book a while ago. Actually, no, I wasn't bought this. I was bought this book. This was a gift from somebody who I was actually seeing at the time. And I had picked it up, I had looked at it, and I had said, hey, there's a booktuber I really like who thinks this is popular. This is good to know because I'm kind of interested in reading it. And then he bought it for me and then the relationship ended badly and it's kind of put me off of wanting to read this but i do know that this is a trilogy and i want to get started on this trilogy so bad because i just know it has to do with like casinos and gambling and like it takes place in like the city of sin and i'm just like this just sounds amazing and i think there's like a really really interesting like government system i've heard so I really want to get into it. I think I have the audiobook actually on hold on Libby. So I might be getting to this soon. It just depends on when the audiobook can come through. Or I might just pick it up physically. Or I might pick it up physically and listen to the audiobook at the same time. Who knows? It's me. I'm going to probably end up just picking it up soon. I hope. <laughs> the next book I have to talk about today is actually one that's been on my TBR for a while. At least a year. Like since like the last Barnes & Noble book haul blowout. So not the one that just happened last month or last week, whenever that happened, but the one that happened sometime in 2018. And this was on sale for 50% off, so I figured why not pick it up? And then I went to the Barnes & Noble YA Book Club for Again But Better, and the person who was like coordinating the event actually recommended to pick this up. And that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. I don't know anything about this other than it's a high fantasy and that it's got like war and that people are like fighting for like the crown i think that's all i know <laughs> but i know a lot of people have loved this and it has been recommended to, like on booktube numerous times so why not give it a chance and see what it's uh about book number four is actually going to be another book that is really well loved here on booktube and once again that i had picked up because of the hype and uh, i was like well i'm gonna read it and mainly because this has been compared so many times to harry potter and yeah and that is nevermore the trials of morrigan crow by jessica townsend now i know this one also has a sequel out i don't know if there's gonna be a third book but i do know that this one is gonna be a, is like a fun whimsical middle grade novel and that's all I know about it, other than it's been compared to Harry Potter, and that's the reason I picked it up. Plus, this cover gives me Mary Poppins vibes. So, yeah, that's all I can really say about it. I don't know much about the story inside. I tend to actually like going into a lot of books blind, so I tend not to read the back on all of them. Or if I do read the back and I'm, interest and I'm interested, I don't read it until after I've forgotten 
what is going to be inside this book. So that's kind of just how I go. The next book that I have to talk about today is going to be one that's probably more recent that I picked up because I picked this up in July. But it's actually by an author who I've heard of. I think I own one of the books by this author and I didn't even realize it until I was just looking at the back to try to understand what this book was about to talk about it. And that is That Night by Sin Balog. I'm sorry for butchering your name. But I just know in That Night that it's going to be a mystery thriller that talks about this girl's boyfriend who dies and that like she can't get over it. She can't move past it. And as she's trying to move past it, like her boyfriend's brother is like, hey, no, just don't talk about it. And then as like she's still like working through things, like she finds like a picture with a threatening message in his stuff. And like everybody's like, no, he killed himself. But she's going to just keep looking into this. And like she's remembering more the more she looks in. And she doesn't know what like the truth is. And all I know is that it's a thriller and I really hope I like it. Next book is actually going to be another mystery. I don't know if it's considered a thriller, but it's one that's an older one that once again, I heard Emma books talk about and then I was shopping in Barnes and Noble and I saw it. So I bought this one myself. I wasn't, it wasn't bought for me, but I did pick this one up based on her really talking about and really hyping up the series. And that is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Burns. And I just know it's a crime series and I really like crime. And I actually, if you didn't know, my initial major in college was criminal justice before I switched to psychology. And that to me is actually really interesting. So I'm really interested in trying to pick it up, especially because like the blurb on the top is comparing it to Criminal Minds, which I used to love that show. I haven't watched it or rewatched it in a while, but I did used to love Criminal Minds and I do love like watching like BuzzFeed Solved and a lot of true crime shows. So I'm hoping I really, really, really can get into this soon and really just love it. Next book is actually one that I picked up right around the time it came out because I had read another book by the, this author that summer and then I just never finished it. I intended to read it all in one day on Halloween the year this came out and I just never did and I really want to get into it and pick it up soon and I think now fall would be the perfect time to pick it up and that is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I don't know much about it other than it's a thriller novel from Stephanie Perkins and I love this color cover like the pink accents like everything's like pinkish and purplish and the hues and the color cover is just eye-catching and I haven't heard much about this I think like the one thing I've heard was negative that like somebody DNF'd it but like I really 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 want to get into this and I really hope I like it surprise surprise the next book I have to talk about is another one I don't know much about other than it's I think like a haunted amusement park and that is Scream Sight by Justina Ireland now I picked up this book based on this cover because number one this cover alone is gorgeous but then I found out when I was because I was intending to read this for one of the newts readathon challenges that's like to read a book that's black under the dust jacket under the dust jacket is the exact same as the cover and I just love that like I love that idea I've never really seen that done not that I've noticed anyway but this one I just know like I'll read you the back of this real quick no one is who they say they are images on the screen bounced as if someone was running the scene was dark with only flashes of light from the camera just enough to catch glimpses of trees and bits of blue clothing the sounds of leaves crunching with each step and the girl gasping for air crackled from the speaker and then whispers through her ragged breath, please help me, this is real, this is real. Like, that just sounds amazing. And I meant to pick this up like last year, like I bought this last year, I meant to read it like right after I bought it, and then like it had fallen from where I was storing it, like on a table, it had fallen behind the table, which was like in a really awkward place to get to. So when I was kind of cleaning up to move downstairs to here to get everything onto my shelf, I actually was finally able to pick it up again over a year later and I'm still interested in this in the story and I really want to get to it and I think this would be a really good like fall Halloween time read. So I think I should title this video Susan just picks up books that she doesn't know what they're about but this one's actually going to be one that I know is well loved here on booktube which is 
one that I've also heard some negative opinions on as well. But this is going to be Care of All by Stephanie Garber. Now, I started the audiobook for this, but then I just kind of wasn't in the mood for it. I was in the mood, mood more for contemporary, not for this. But this book is one that I know a lot of people have loved, but also a lot of people have not liked. And I don't know where I'm going to fall on the spectrum for this, but I just love this cover. It's so shiny. It's like kind of whimsical. And it just like, it really reminds me of a carnival kind of cover. And that's like what I'm hoping for. And I'm also, I know I'm going to go into this hoping for like a Cirque du Soleil kind of style story. But this also reminds me of, like, from what I had heard on the audiobook, it's comparing it almost to the first book of uh, Cirque du Freak by Darren Chan, which I'm not saying, like, the content's the same, but the idea of that traveling circus festival that, like, doesn't really have plans on where they're going, they just kind of appear, and that's what I'm interested in, and I think, like, maybe Caraval would be good for, like, a fall re when, like, the weather starts getting cooler, I can sit outside, with my pumpkin spice latte because I'm that basic of a girl and sit outside with that just like cozy up in a hoodie and give this a read and maybe enjoy it. So this next book is one that I know was really 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 well hyped for like on booktube which most of these have been but this one was really well hyped around its release. I haven't heard much about it since but that's probably because everybody interested in reading it read it when the hype was popular and I started to read it when the hype was popular however I was also taking like three classes in college and I was in a creative writing class when I picked this up so I was not in the right mindset to pick this up and I just know this is an original story like really original I've never heard of anything like this and everybody's gonna crucify me for not reading it and it's the only contemporary on this list and that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Now I know for a fact that this book takes place over the course of one night where people get like the phone call get like a phone call on the day they are going to die and that they are going to die within the next 24 hours. I know I think this has to do with like an LGBT romance. I think it's um two guys together and I know that this is also the story of both of them with how they meet up and like how they're both about to die and how like that's it. <laughs> That's all I know and that I really want to give this a chance and I think maybe if I really do give this a chance I can read this all in one day. And the last book I have to talk about today is another one I have picked up and bought because of Emma Books but it was also in the last year's Barnes & Noble book called Blowout. You know I figured I'd pick it up then because it was 50% off and that is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I'm actually really falling into more and more mystery thriller. It has been a genre I've been exploring a lot more of lately and I've really been loving. I did start reading like a couple other mystery thrillers. One I didn't finish yet and I intend to, but I don't know when I'm going to pick it up. And then the other two that I can think of off the top of my head, I did finish and love both of them. So I'm really hoping an anonymous girl is the same way because I really want to like this because like this cover is amazing. And I just really want to get into more mystery thriller. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for the video today. Make sure to leave any comments of any other recommendations based on these down below. Or which ones do you think I should start with? Because that is 11 books and I don't know where to start. I just know I want to read all of them. So anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. I got some biology homework to do. And I will see you soon in the next video. But make sure to click like, comment, and subscribe down below if you like what you see and you want to see some more for next time. Peace.